it's just the the, the future about the products about Deidre. The future really is to take what we've what we've built in the last year and a half and expand on that. Um, this year we already added um, six configurations, so mm -hmm. six different setups for Paladin. Uh, we added one new one for um, for Reflex, mm -hmm. and then we'll also be adding uh, we'll be making some changes on Reflex too for the better. Reflex has been fantastic. We've uh, we've started selling that as a as a professional drum set, very mm -hmm. affordable drum set, and. Um, you know, it's versatile not only in its tone but in the players that play it. Oh, okay. Because we have uh, we have Derek Wright with Adele playing it for yeah. funk and soul, and then we've got Jeremy Spencer from Five Finger Death Punch mm -hmm. playing it for the you know the pretty heavy rock. Yeah, and we have a lot of people in between. Um, uh, we've got uh, Vinny Apice actually playing a powerhouse kid, yeah. and you know the I love that. I, I, it's, it is. It's, I really it's, love it. In the U.S. at our at our shop, we have a um, we have an upstairs room that we have all our kits set up in. It is the kit everybody goes to and everybody sits down and plays. They love the the reflex. They yeah. really love the reflex. And um, I think the direction really is to take D drum and take it from what it was known for, which is metal. Okay. And so we're heading in a straight line with that. What we want to do is we want to open yeah. it up and diversify and get everybody. In the last year and a half, we've added. Uh, we've added numerous artists that have come on um, that are uh, from all different genres. Um, mm -hmm. You know, of course, the country thing is very big in the yeah. states. So we've got Britt Turner, uh, who's a drummer for um, for a band called Blackberry Smoke. Mm -hmm. In punk, we've got DJ Bonebreak, who mm -hmm. to me is like Ringo Starr. He's my, he's my <laughs> hero. Yeah. You know? And then um, in jazz, we added Marco Georgievich, mm -hmm. and Marco's our master clinician, and just probably the best all-around drummer I've ever seen. We've also recently added Barry Kirsch from Shinedown, which for for pop rock. This, and this is this is basically you know Barry's kit and color right mm -hmm. here, um, and Barry has been really great at uh, at doing some research and development for us. He's oh, okay. big into vintage drums. Barry and I talk, you know, maybe maybe once or twice a month about what do you think about this, what do you think about this. We're working on a new project together that, ah, that he's going to be cool. involved in. Cool. One of the things that we want to do, we don't necessarily want to have an artist product with somebody's signature on it, but we do value our artist uh, experience and um, and our artist knowledge. And so what we want to do is drums that are designed in conjunction with yeah. an artist. And uh, I think that's the way to go. Everybody wants their own sound. And a lot of people don't want someone's name on it. Well, there's something kind of cool about buying a Carmine Apice snare drum yeah. or a Sean Drover snare drum. We really want to focus on, you know, on you getting your own sound as a drummer. Exactly. And what we want to do as D-Drum, as we start to expand, is we want to be the company that allows you to, to get your own sound, to find your own sound, not just relegate you to... This is what you get. This is what you're going to sound like. We don't want that. We want to open it up, just like we want to open up our artist roster. We want to open up the possibilities for the player, and you know, along uh, right behind that, and uh, kind of piggybacking onto onto what we're doing in drum sets. We have a full new line of snare drums coming out. Mm. Um, the Vintone Elemental are metal mm -hmm. drums. Those are out now, so those are available. Uh, there are six drums total. One um, one aluminum. Let's see if I can remember all of them. One aluminum, three steel and two nickel over brass. Mm -hmm. And the drum of choice by five or six of our artists um, in the States has been the seven by 14 nickel over brass. It's got the aggression of brass, but a very sweet sound to it. Okay. Um, very warm sound. Um, sounds a lot like phosphor bronze with mm -hmm. a little more aggression. Okay. Very nice. Um, the next thing that's gonna come after that, which is gonna be in the States, so probably about a month after we get it, you'll get it, mm -hmm. is the Ventone Arbor. And that's eight new wooden drums, okay. uh, all with different bearing edges, different hoops, different throw-offs, different sizes. Uh, different different sizes. That's cool. We have a seven by fourteen mahogany that you saw yes. <laughs> at the <laughs> that's show. Love. Uh, also the ten. Also the ten. There's a, <laughs> there's a, a six by ten alder. Yeah. That uh, we've had so much fun with the alder wood, we had to do two drums out of that. So we did a six by ten and a seven by twelve, mm -hmm. um, seven by thirteen cherry. Yeah. That looks black. Until you hold it up to the light, and then you yeah. see it's actually purple. It's like a yeah. It's called purple, a raven purple. purple. Yeah. That's what it is. And then we have uh, we you, you can't go wrong with with maple. And so we've got a five by fourteen and a six and a half by fourteen maple that have just regular forty five degree edges. And then we have two walnut drums that uh, we've got a five and a six and a half both by fourteen that have half round over half forty five. So you get the warmth of a round over, 
but you get the attack and you get the projection of a 45 degree angle. Okay. And just tremendous drums. They really sound great. And of course, as, as we grow, we'll take some away and add some more. Trust me, I've got plenty. I've got plenty of ideas to go for the next five years or so. But, um, you know, also we've, we've redesigned our triggers. Uh, we've always been known for our triggers. We recently added a, a new line of triggers called the Chrome Elite. Hmm. And the Chrome have a Chrome housing. And we had, a, we had a really a lot of success with the triggers. But one of the things that we kind that of became uncomfortable with. The about deeper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Triggers and electronics. And one of the things that we became uncomfortable with, we were selling so many, was the wiring inside. And okay. we were worried about the wiring coming loose. And I think some people had trouble with wires coming loose. What we did is we have a new wiring harness inside that the wires are covered and they're they're not loose and they're they're covered by a, a piece of uh, black. It's a, it's, a, it's as a cable. Yeah, yeah. It's as a, a normal cable. So right. All right. Right. So it's very well protected inside. Okay. We have a on the Chrome Elite. We have a larger transducer, mm -hmm. so it's more sensitive. Um, it's a it's a disc transducer about that big mm -hmm. instead of a, a very small ribbon transducer that we use on the on the um, Acoustic Pro. Acoustic Pro. Acoustic Pro is great. We haven't had any tracking problems, but that's where we started worrying about the wiring. Well, now we changed the wiring on that too. Oh, so okay. pretty much anything coming in for DRT, for uh, Chrome Elite, or for um, for Acoustic Pro is going to have the upgraded wiring harness. Oh. And uh, so we're we're really heading in a great direction right now. Hardware also. Hardware. Hardware is on the way. New Mercury hardware will be here this summer. That's what we need. Yeah. That's yeah. what we need because so uh, D drum has a in the East story about he D drum. We yeah. know that he's a um, there are great great drum kit yeah. and great products and so on. Um, sometimes in the in the past uh, before that you come in into the in, into the right company right there, there are uh, quite a little problem about yeah okay, well you can you can go ahead and say a lot of problems problem. that's fine <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, okay the issue but, uh, was we had we had um, hardware that was kind of an afterthought yeah the we hardware was yeah. always bah, it's yeah not, not so now I have um, I can see something about uh, about new hardware yeah. the, as a um, double foot uh, other foot pedal yeah it's really Great job, man! It's because super, super smooth, super clean, yeah, absolutely, super great. simple yeah. too. This, yeah. you know, everybody has a, um, you know, a pedal with a, a, a different cam, an adjustable cam, a different this, a different that. We're drummers. We just want something where we can sit down and play. And yeah. this is very simple. We may make some cool alterations to it, but right now it's very simple, very straight ahead. Um, you can adjust it to to your feel, and that and that's great. And it's very affordable too. It's an extremely affordable line of line of hardware. Um, we are going to do uh, boom stands, of course. Uh, we're not going to do straight stands because we'll do collapsible booms where the yeah, boom sure. drops down into the into the the body. Everybody uses booms. Yeah, exactly. Um, two hi hat stands, a three leg and a two leg. Um, you know, for for guys who are playing double bass and need to adjust, that's cool. it's a great thing. Um, and then the uh, the Mercury pedals, the double and the single. Uh, you got to see those at NAMM too. Yeah. The single pedal. Um, it is super smooth. The double pedal is equally as smooth, and that includes the slave pedal. Um, the mm -hmm. slave pedal plays as smoothly as the primary pedal, That's cool. which is great for people like Barry who have a 26 way over there, yeah. and they want to put the double pedal on and, and play that bass drum, use the slave pedal as their primary. Mm -hmm. It's great. There's no lag. It's perfect. It feels like you're hitting it's the drum like right It's you. like to, to, to play the normal bass drum. Exactly. So. And then the snare stand is, is great. The snare stand is super adjustable. It goes high enough that you can put a tom in it. I know me personally, I don't really use tom stands. I use snare stands for, okay. you know, for my toms. Because you, you, okay, we don't He He's a drummer <laughs> and he used bass, bass drums, yeah. tom, right, right, and thin. That's it. I don't need yeah, okay. I'm, about I'm an it's old man who doesn't want to carry. <laughs> <laughs> but we're really excited about Mercury. Um, it's uh, it's the kick that we needed. Um, our hardware. There's really nothing wrong with the with the existing Mapex hardware. It doesn't stand out. Mercury really stands out. We're really happy about it. Oh, okay. 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 Quindi molte, molti, molti progetti ci sono in atto adesso, più che progetti sono già prodotti, nel senso sono già stati fatti, arriverà una nuova serie di, di rullanti Winton, che, um, ci saranno Winton Arbor che sarà la parte in legno con delle future accattivanti direi per l'uso delle, delle essenze poiché ci sarà, eh, saranno in ciliegio, in mogano, in, in acero. Ehm, 
e in lontano anche su di misure differenti, da partire dal 10 fino al classico, più classico 14. 10 per... Uh, the, the other is 10 per 7. Uh, the other is... there are two others, there is a 7 by 12 yeah. and a 6 by 10. 6 by 10, right. ok, quindi um, 10 per 6. Um, dal 10 per 6 fino ad avere chiaramente il 14 6 e mezzo, 14 5 eccetera. Sulla serie Elemental invece la serie um, fatta in metallo um, che ha, ha prodotto un ottimo, um, un ottimo strumento che è, la, um, è Brass o Nickel, mm -hmm. nickel or Brass, nickel or brass. Nickel or brass right. che um, è in ottone però è, um, ha, è rifinito in nickel. Quindi la cromatura è stata fatta con uh, so the, uh, they, uh, this, this snare drums is made in brass, right? Yes. And then and then they played it with nickel. Then they they played it, a, a covering played it with nickel. Ah, yeah. È stato praticamente ricoperto di nickel fondamentalmente. E um, questa serie qua, altra cosa molto interessante per il mondo di drum che ne avevamo certamente bisogno è il discorso del nuovo hardware che è, finalmente è arrivato, si chiama Mercury e uh, vediamo, abbiamo, abbiamo avuto la possibilità di, di provare, questa mattina ci ha portato un regalino che è il, il, pedale, il pedale singolo della, del, appunto della Mercury ed è veramente un prodotto molto 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 interessante è molto bello, molto morbido, um, veloce, con la possibilità di intercambiare le cam e uh, doppia catena, insomma un sacco di feature molto interessanti e che speriamo di avere presto sul nostro mercato. Uh, questo è quanto dal, dal mondo di drum, io volevo ringraziare Josh, thanks a lot Josh Thank for you. your so, for visit me. us yes. and ciao! Che vi posso dire? Questo è il mondo di Trump. Un saluto, un bacio a tutti e ci si vede. Ciao cari. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. Ciao a tutti.